That's right, Caliente here in Sirius XM. Mr. Baby Girl Laura estás compartiendo contigo from East to West Coast Nationwide, siempre sin comerciales, trayendo de todos los artistas favoritos. En el estudio conmigo, la maravillosa, la preciosa, Miss Nelly Furtado. Wow, gracias. Wow, wow what an introduction. Right, tan tan. <laughs> <laughs> bien, bien, ¿y tú cómo estás? Yeah, contenta. Ok, vamos, yeah, vamos a platicar, ok. Tu cuarto álbum. Sí. Y, y bueno, yo, yo con la primera vez cuando te escuché eh, con una col colaboración en español fue con, con Juanes. Sí, sí, uh, colaboración, sí. So, o sea, cuenta. En 2002, pienso eh, que sí, sí, para Un Día Normal, el álbum Un Día Normal de Juanes. La canción fue fotografía. Fotografía. So, cuéntame, ¿cómo se juntaron ustedes dos? Fue mi primera vez uh, grabando en español, fue con Juanes. Antes, um, para mí, um, um, yo empecé a cantar en, en portugués con cuatro años, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Otra idioma latina, ¿no? Pero con 14 años, um, yo estudié español un poco en, en escuela, en high school. Okay. Entonces, cuando yo conocí a Juanes, um, you know, he sent me the song, and I loved it. And fue en ese día que yo sabía que yo también encantaba mucho de cantar en español, you know, I really found that Latin connection with the two languages, the Portuguese and Spanish, it felt very similar to me, I right. felt the soul, I felt the beauty of it and the emotional connection and the ease, you know, felt natural, you know, pero, pero fue muy diferente porque um, <laughs> my accent was very Portuguese on this yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they just let me do it, but now that I have a whole album in Spanish, it's like, okay, you gotta get the Spanish a little bit better now. Right, right, right. So, Las Canciones and Mi Plan, my, my fourth album, don't worry, and I'm, I'm not singing with a Portuguese accent. <laughs> <laughs> a little more co correcto. <laughs> Cuando estuve a residente y a visitante de Calle 13 me visitaron, platicamos también de tu colaboración con ellos, con No Hay Igual. Sí, so, con Calle 13. Habla, háblame de, ese, de esa canción. Oh, yeah, you know, that's the first song I wrote in Spanish. Oh, cool. No okay. Sí. Uh, para mi tercer álbum, uh -huh. uh, Luz, yo escribí uh, No Hay Igual, pero la letra es muy simple. Como simples, right? Yeah. It's very simple Spanish. And, but when I wrote it, I was like, wow, cool, I can write a song in Spanish. Yeah, yeah. And that was good. And then también I had the song Te Busqué on the album with Juanes, which, mm -hmm. he, which he wrote, the, he translated my lyrics for that and wrote a new chorus. Um, we wrote it together. And also, um, what happened after, uh, with the Calle 13 thing, um, Calle 13, I discovered them like, um, with some friends of mine, we were, we were hanging out and listening to some new music. Some friends of mine from the Dominican Republic had um, an early demo of some of Calle uh, Trece's material mm -hmm. before the first album came out, really. So we had an advanced little lead on Calle yeah. Trece. And I love to feature people that are just kind of like exploding at the time. Yeah. You know, I like feature new people. Like on my new album, I've got some new people that a lot of people maybe haven't been exposed to, like right. Concha Boyka, Alex Cuba, people that are, or La Mala Rodriguez, who's obviously very popular in some circles, but yeah. it's kind of like an exposure of some kind. So with Calle 13, um, yeah, we just had them come down. We actually recorded that in New York, uh, right here. And, and the video was shot in Puerto Rico. The video was shot, yeah, okay. in San Juan. Okay. Yeah, in San Juan, in La, La Perla. Oh, nice. And um, it was really vibey, and it was, it, was, it was a fun time. We performed as well. We performed at um, the MTV um, Awards. Uh, in Mexico City. Okay. Pero, um, the other thing that really kind of got me into Spanish music was yo escribí una canción con uh, Julio Reyes and um, Jennifer Lopez recorded the song and it was in Spanish. So cool. I figured, okay, it was for the El Cantante soundtrack. Oh, okay, okay. It's called Toma de Mi and okay. it's the last song on the El Cantante soundtrack. I gotta listen to it. I gotta check it out. Yeah. But, but you know what? Why don't we get into one of the songs right now? No hay igual? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Good. I'll let you present it. Okay. Ahora, no hay igual. Nelly Furtado con Calle 13. Check it out. Right here in Caliente Series, XM. Enjoy. And, ready? And we're back, Caliente, Sirius XM, Laura Stiles in studio with, yes, Nelly Furtado. Estamos platicando de her collaborations, her new, new, new venture into Musica Latina. Bueno, hablemos, mi plan. Mi plan. <laughs> Pero, mi plan es, es no tener un plan. Yo te iba a preguntar, ¿cuál es tu plan? <laughs> no tener un plan es mi plan, porque piensa que solo Dios sabe mi plan, right? Mm -hmm. eh, cosas pasan en la vida y nunca sabes, right? Mm -hmm. You never know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. So I think in the last two years, I took my first time off in seven years, basically. Oh, my wow. first album came out 
in 2000. Yeah. And now it's 2009. So mm -hmm. I spent the last two years at home just chilling out with my daughter, con mi hija y mi marido, my, my husband. I just got married a year ago. And then at this time, I just started really focusing on, you know, los pequeños detalles, you know, claro. la vida. You know, the little things. Los más importantes. Yeah, los yeah, más importantes. Yeah, los más importantes. Y pasando tiempo con mis seres queridos, mi familia, you know, mis amigos. And so I just kind of... um. This this album is super personal. It's super mm. personal, and it's just songs. A lot of love songs. Okay. Um, my first single is called Manos al Aire, mm -hmm. and it's all about you know you have to be vulnerable in love. You know what I mean? Because la, las palabras pueden ser como armas, right? Claro que sí. And if you if you if you abuse love, you know what I mean? Then, then love isn't good to you sometimes. You know? Right, right. So in Manos al Aire, I'm in an argument. You know, with my guy, we're talking, and I'm, I'm being kind of harsh, and I'm aggressive, but at the same time, in the chorus, I say, you know what? I'll be the first one to say I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. Yeah. And in the video, too, like, we have a heated argument, and slowly, I'm wearing all these army clothes. I start off in a big, big truck, and all of a sudden, I, I throw away my baseball bats. I throw <laughs> away my high-heeled shoes, my curling iron, everything I could use as a weapon, I throw away onto the street. A slingshot, a boxing glove. And then I get rid of all my army gear. And then, uh, después en el fin del video, um, I arrive at his door with just, you know, a tank top and shorts or whatever. I'm just like, I'm, I'm ready to say I'm sorry, yeah. you know? So that's what the song's about. And all these songs, it really came from real experiences. I have a song called Feliz Cumpleaños, uh -huh. and that song is about, um, I wrote it the day after I turned 30, I was like, with 30 the day before, and then I came <laughs> into the studio and I wrote a song called Feliz Cumpleaños, pero no es um, una canción tan feliz, you know? It's, it's uh -huh. kind of a little, like, melancolica, you know? It's like, kind okay. of like... No es triste, pero it's it's just about birthdays and how sometimes you might feel sad because you maybe lost a loved one. Of course, yeah. Or just the, the other side of birthdays, that other feeling you feel sometimes. Yeah. So, and then I have another song called Suficiente Tiempo, which I think everybody can relate to. Is like, in today's world, you never have enough time for yourself in a day. Tell and let that. alone for the one you love. Like, you don't have time <laughs> to make that phone call. I love you, honey. I love you, baby. You know, or like, let's have a date tonight. You know, you don't have time because you're driving around the city. Your apartment's a mess. You need to get groceries, whatever, you know? Yeah. So that's a song I did with um, Salam Remy, who's a really cool producer. Oh, know? I love Salam. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he produced two tracks on my album. Oh, cool. Yeah, in Spanish. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can get down in Spanish, too. That, that's <laughs> super cool. Well, let's check out. Uh, well, one of our DJs has been playing uh, Mano Salaire, but this was the one featuring Franco El Gorila. Oh, perfect. I love that remix. Yeah, so why don't we play it right now? Yeah, con Franco. So, go El ahead. Gorilla. Right here on Caliente <laughs> Serious Sex <Day. laughs>